wisdom out of cups. <laughs> Here we go, God damn, I'm gonna buy that motherfucking cup. That's so wise to say a fish backward on account of the water. <laughs> Every morning I will drink coffee from my cup and I'll read that fucking wise thing. That's the wisest uh, cup maker I ever come across. And, uh, but then I go, fuck it, I'm not buying the mother. <laughs> I'll just get a regular cup and remember that wise thing. And uh, then I remember shit. Wise things. <laughs> I remember like one time I they would think of a wise thing. Because I think like people just stumble on them, even retards like me. Like, never, like, so one time I was like, it's better to be, uh, uh, well, it better be sorry than safe. I switched them around, right? <laughs> and then when I said it, I did it by mistake. I'll be honest with you. Uh, that was that. Was like, yeah, it sounds like some wise fucker would say. So then I started saying to my friend, I go, hey man, what do you think of this one? It's better be sorry than safe. And then people go, ah, that sounds retarded. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not as wise as grandma. Because they knew it was me and Sam. So then I started doing this thing because I was really convinced about that. And so I started walking around and going, hey man, as uh, Winston Churchill <laughs> Sorry, is it? And then they go, God damn, that's wise. And I go, it's me, a father. <laughs> and they go, it's not wise. I go, it's too late. <laughs> it is wise, I know it is. <laughs> Why is it so unbelievable that a man can't comb one wise thing out of his entire fucking life? It's not a world. I gotta learn how to use a mic stand. That's on my to-do list on how to become a better stand-up. <laughs> how to use a microphone stand. <laughs> I got a big to do list for that. <laughs> but I love stand up. I love the, the feeling of taking that something. Like, just, you know, it's such a beautiful feeling of taking a, a group of, uh, of people, you know? Uh, and, uh, and with my comedy, just transforming them into an unruly mob. <laughs> This guy's watching my Uncle Buck. That's <laughs> <laughs> a good scene of shit, but God. Everything's fast, now I go to go. That's always fun when you're starting to start saying, anyway, my Uncle Bay is on. You know, I. <laughs> you know, Uncle Bay's a little boss. That's your, um, that used to be your husband before he died. <laughs> Anyways, I'll never forget Uncle Basil on his deathbed uh, spoke to me. It was about you, actually. I've never heard this story. <laughs> What oh, was it? Were we saying something about Uncle Basil or something? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know anywhere. I'm playing uh, Sing the Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> I got a 20 uh, points. <laughs> points? Yeah. Points? Goddamn, you're 85 year old. <laughs> Excuse me, young anymore. My mom, she old. She does a lot of that shit, man. It's good for old people, you know, because they get to, with the computers, fucking awesome. You know? My mom's 80, she gets to do shit and talk to people her, her age and people uh, 75 years younger. She doesn't talk to about five year olds, but <laughs> <laughs> a huge gap. And, uh, 
Keeps her going. And you know, she sits in the chair and does that all day. And she used to sit in the chair and just do this. <laughs> so it's a big, 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 big help. I got my mom with me now. She would be from my she sat in Ottawa, and a lot of my relatives are there, and, uh, and uh, yeah, the wonderful Ottawa Valley is where, uh, where my heritage comes from. And, uh, yeah, goddamn right. <laughs> Last time I was here, Gord back on was here. He's another fella. You know Gordy? <laughs> Gordy, are you here tonight? Uh, fuck, are you not here tonight? What? Wait, say what you said again? <laughs> Hold me, what? <laughs> I'm an old man, I don't know that shit. <laughs> I never caught up with like... You gotta have those options. <laughs>
progress along ways and say obviously with love, because god damn, you gotta be able to love, you know, people to you know to language <laughs> is gonna be the only thing that stops you from loving someone. If not understanding a single fucking word <laughs> the other person says is gonna somehow get between you know, you two. <laughs> I remember one time I came from Quebec City, really, but I walked into the Chateau Laurier, Chateau Frontenac, in Quebec City, and they said they had a language law for every English word, you had to have a French word right beside it. And so it was a hotel, you know, the Chateau Frontenac, and it said, so anyway, it said behind the, the thing, there was a sign, it said reception, and then there was a slash, right? Reception slash reception. <laughs> we have elections like in, in, in America, and then elections are like important because you vote for the wrong guy and the world blows up. <laughs> it's like serious stuff, you know? And that doesn't happen in Canada. Really, nothing terrible is going to happen. But that's why I don't vote in America, plus I'm an American citizen. I don't to vote. But I wouldn't anyway, because I would not want to make the wrong decision, and then the fucking world blows up, and then they're like, did you vote for that guy? I'm like, oh, I don't know. He's a good speaker. I like I never voted in Canada because the, the stakes in Canada seem so crazy low. Like, you know what I mean? Like, in, in America, you talk about the election, you go, what do you vote? What's your, what's your, because we vote for a bell, uh, you know, uh, health insurance uh, for everybody, and uh, to get out of war, get the, get the troops home, get our boys home, and uh, uh, that's what's important to me, of course, the economy. Then in Canada, you go, what, what are you voting for? And people go, well, what the fuck you think? The bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I'm going to say Henderson, you can see your hands up. 
And it's like, yes, I was thinking that we got a bridge, and uh, the motherfucker, like, when you go on it, there's a bump, and they go, what the fuck are you talking about? A bridge? You sit down, shut the fuck up. And you get to stay here. And they're like, It's like the queen. Queen is still the queen of Canada. I didn't even know that, so I told that. But <laughs> it's weird, you know, the queen is the richest lady in the whole world. Nobody richer than the queen, right? Now, you see uh, fucking, uh, like, the Arab Spring. Wait, is that Oprah or something? <laughs> like, like, she got a good chunk of chain. <laughs> But you see the Arab Spring, and they got that guy, Assad, he's the guy from Syria, and fucking shit, and everybody, I fight him, and then they fucking, he's saying, I throw gas, we're a bunch of gas, and they're like, ah, gas. And then, fucking <laughs> Molotov cocktails, and then, oh, my father died at the hands of Assad, my grandpa, we will fight him, though, we'll fight him tooth and nail, that motherfucker, we'll beat him. That's really like that. Meanwhile, you got England, right? And uh, nobody got no money there, just like everywhere else. And then you got Buckingham Palace, where all the money is. Yeah, just like a bunch, whole bunch of gold and shit. And uh, they got about half the money of the entire country. It's one family. And uh, they're guarded by like uh, six guys with crazy big gray hats. <laughs> and it seems like it would be super easy. <laughs> Seems like, seems like we could do it. Just in this room, we decided we had a will. And we'll be at Heathrow and we can take over that goddamn Buckingham Palace and uh, take all the gold out. Just give it to the people. And, uh, we're gonna do that. Probably get us in the newspaper. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know why that's such a crazy idea. Goddamn kings. <laughs> hey, king. Some people like it. My grandma, she like, she's like, I remember one time the queen had to take a pay cut or some goddamn thing. She's like, what's Lizzie calling her? Lizzie. What's Lizzie gonna do? So I'm worried. What the fuck are you gonna do? You're eating cat food. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be worried about the queen. I think she would sell her fucking scepter. <laughs> she had to. <laughs> I'm too worried about that. <laughs> Canada is different in a lot of ways. I was thinking. It's different when it comes to, they got a Super Bowl, it's gonna be maybe the most exciting Super Bowl, who knows? It's gonna be something else, you know? Yeah, damn, Patriots, one of the teams, that guy, you know? Uh, Seahawks, maybe equal time. Argonauts, they're, uh, <laughs> heavy underdog. <laughs> I grew up, of course, with Canadian football. I don't know what the fuck it was. It was like, we didn't have the Super Bowl, we had the Grey Cup. It was just, just a cup that was gray. I don't know where they call that name. I don't, and I don't think it was the color, I think it was a guy. Was like, I'm Lord Grey. It was Lord, Lord Stanley. You got a cup. It's funny, I was thinking hockey's the only sport 
where they have an award that they give out every year that nobody wants to win. It's the uh, Lady Bing. <laughs> It's like a man who's the biggest pussy <laughs> in this award. It's for the most sportsman-like guy. Hockey ain't no sportsman's game. And that's not for the sportsman, it's for the, you gotta be tough, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, the, the guys who went to Lady Bing, they're the ones who just take a punch to the face. And just, uh, he gets 10 minutes, right? <laughs> Six men in the playoffs. I don't know how it is now. Where there were the yes, Rough Riders. <laughs> a question I've asked countless times. Nobody's given me the answer. How uh, there was eight teams, two named the Rough Riders. <laughs> I don't really know what the fuck was going on. The radio guys would fuck. They'd be like, bad news for the Rough Riders. The Rough Riders have it at the 30 yard line. Step up here and stop them while the Rough Riders try to close out this game. So, good news to the Rough Riders, but bad news to the Rough Riders. All right, you're like, God damn, baby, that's. I remember watching Canadian football and I go, you know, because guys seem real good, but then you go, I don't know if they're good, they didn't make it in America. Maybe they're just good, like, compared to each other. I don't fucking know. <laughs> and then the dinner guy would go to the States, like Warren Moon or some shit, and go, God damn, this guy should have been in the States the whole fucking time. <laughs> but back then, they didn't think a black guy could be a quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out, a black guy can do it. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't know that back then. <laughs> different time. <laughs> I like people who say that so we were doing evil things. <laughs> it was a different time. <laughs> we lynched people. Different time. <laughs> it was different, yeah. It was different <laughs> Evo was considered all right. <laughs> You're talking about today. Back in time, Shane. <laughs> you always go, hey man, if you went back in a time machine, would you kill Hitler? And you go, yeah, goddamn right. But you know what would be the worst is if you were back in a time machine. Like, I'm gonna kill that Hitler motherfucker. Then you go back in a time machine, right? And then you listen to Hitler, and then you go, oh. Is that how you spell my name?
I like watching, I don't like parties that much. I like, I like watching people know football so I can hear the announcers and shit, and I don't have to explain, you know, you know, to my mother the simplest game ever. <laughs>
Most of my career is gone, it's over. <laughs> Russell Wilson's uh, just making us all dinosaurs. Then it does. Why are we talking? What is this? Sports fucking talk radio show? <laughs> we gotta involve the girls. <laughs> the girls love sports too, we all know that. <laughs> I'm good, you got Hamilton for it. I, when I said, hey, what's the menu? What's the menu? Hamilton's a beautiful city. <laughs> Why my client just walked in? 
guys are constantly. <laughs> And I said, how about instead I eat an egg? <laughs> I'm a doctor, but I thought that, that was better for you. <laughs> but, uh, but I am, when you get old, everything changes. And, you know, I mean, when you're real young, you're like some sort of crazy like superhero that doesn't die and just has, you know what I mean? Like when you're really young, like you can lose a tooth and another tooth will grow. <laughs> I don't know how that works. But... <laughs> it doesn't happen when you're old. You lose a tooth, and that's you know, just uh, I don't know. Like soup. <laughs> like some soup. I don't think a, a tooth's gonna grow in. <laughs> <laughs> but people don't know when you're old what happens until you get old. And then, like I spend a lot of the day going like this. What's going on with my left arm? What's going on to me? What about that? Looking for symptoms. Searching for symptoms. All the wrong place. I was, uh, the problem with symptoms is, uh, this, you know, the same symptoms, like for instance, if you have a heart attack, one of the symptoms is uh, indigestion. But also, uh, if you have a symptom of indigestion, that's also a symptom for uh, indigestion. <laughs> so, you know. And then, so you go to emergency and, and you go, hey, I think I might be having a heart attack. Why do I that? I got indigestion. I go, get the fuck out. <laughs> Leave. You have indigestion. You're like, all right, that's what I thought. <laughs> I see more shows. You leave and die in the heart of it. Burning, you know, for us. And then they changed the records. They never showed up. <laughs> Tragedy, he died when he got out of the car. <laughs> he had only got him. <laughs> I wouldn't make much of it. If we had only got him 10 seconds earlier, I don't know anything. I cannot study. I read this thing, I read Wikipedia and shit. I never got no education. Uh, like proper, proper eyes. <laughs> but I, I, I feel like Wikipedia is the greatest thing ever. I, I look on it. You ever look on it? Nowadays I look on it. Sometimes like, I'll, I'll check out Wikipedia and be a man's face that he invented Wikipedia or something. You ever see that? And it's just his face. He's like, I got no money left. <laughs> <laughs> I know everything. <laughs> Yeah. 
it's dead. You told me that it was a simple operation. And he's like, uh, it was complicated. <laughs> it looked simple in the book. <laughs> when we were looking at the book and shit, very simple. But when we cut your dad open, wow, it's complicated. It was <laughs> Red stringy stuff. Are you a doctor? I go, no, I hear what you get. It. It's way too complicated. Even for us, it's kind of quite complicated. Red stringy stuff. It's not even in the book. It's not even mentioned in the book. All that red stringy stuff. <laughs> Sometimes I go, I guess I trust them. Sometimes they are doctors just, first of all, I don't know why they do this, but they do it every time and you just accept it and you never question it. Like my mom's always like, oh, the doc says, ooh. <laughs> the doc says I'm just getting old. And I'm like, well, what kind of fucking doctor is it? Why are you telling him to say that? Everybody knows you're getting old. <laughs> oh, the doctor. But uh, I say, no, no, Ma, you got to be, you know, right on top of it. You know, it's your own thing. You got to be responsible nowadays for the knowledge. And, uh, I went to a doctor once. And said, but anyway, no, the thing I was going to say that we just completely accept that every doctor does whenever you go to him and you just let him do it and as he hits your knee with a hammer. Now, <laughs> you'd think that would have gone away a hundred years ago, but still they do it. I don't know what the fuck it's for. Like, they smash your fucking knee with a hammer. And then you're like, ah, fuck, my knee. And they write down, that's perfect. That's exactly how you should respond. So, uh, I think we just accept things because, you know, they, we know they're smarter than us in the shit and they know smarter words. Sometimes they use their knowledge of smarter words to, like, you know, trick us. Like, one time I went to the doctor, I said, hey, doc, I got this thing, man. I'm always tired, you know? And he said, it sounds to me like chronic fatigue syndrome. You know, and books and shit. I was like, what's that? I don't know. He's like, well, chronic means always. T means you're tired. And syndrome, uh, that's just something you got. <laughs> so, if you got 20s and shit, the lady, you know, you like the hundreds, you gotta look up at them. <laughs> First of all, it helps me to just hold it like this because they said I have a uh, oral fixation, which is like, <laughs> that's, that's face, so we all know what that means. You're not very funny. Pardon me? Whoa! Shut right, the fuck up! Uh, what did you really say? Oh, oh. Motherfucker just said you're not funny. What is going on? <laughs> No, I didn't hear what he said, sorry, what did he say, sir? You're not very funny. Who? Oh. 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 What do I give a fuck? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
fucked. Are they alone or just by yourself?
taking your own life, but uh, uh, you will. <laughs> and as you make a goal in life is to be remembered, uh, uh, then you'll be remembered. Because if they think you commit suicide, you know, I feel like, ah, why? And then they'll go, ah, but if you're just there, then they'll go, oh, mysterious. Like they, they, they think it's so mysterious. And, uh, you know, I have in my family five suicides, and uh, they say it's kind of, I'm not hereditary, but kind of runs, you know, in the family and stuff like that. I'm never going to do it, you know, but. Uh, uh, I've had five, and, my, and the first one was uh, my great grandfather, and he was in depression. Now, uh, he his memory will always be alive because uh, whenever the depression comes up, you know, I'll say, "God damn!" People go, "This depression is tough." I go, "Of course it's tough." What about my grandfather? Great grandfather, motherfucker, he was so broken by it that. He went out into the North 40, found a serious palm tree there was, and, uh, and uh, he ended his life. His life ended on that branch, and then people go, God damn, he sounds mysterious. <laughs> and I go, yeah, I'm a pretty mysterious fucker. <laughs> now, if you have a story, let's say this is your story. Hey, my Aunt Ruth died of congestive heart disease. People go, don't tell that story no more. <laughs> you don't want to hear that story. <laughs> she sounds like an unmysterious uh, lady. <laughs> Would you, uh, think of, you use those words in the room? <laughs> Aunt Ruth? Wally, Wally, do you want me to get up and tell her funny Shut the fuck up! Oh my god. Oh, fuck off! Oh, 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 Hey, if Tarzan and Jane were Jewish, what would Gina be? Go back to Hamilton! <laughs> <laughs> It's funny. It's funny when people are real racist than like this guy. <laughs> and, and that's alright. You know, people are racist. That's okay. You know what the bad people are? People like me that just go along with it. Like, <laughs> like you know, like racist cab drivers, which is pretty well all of them. <laughs> and so you'll be in the cab, and the guy goes, You know what I don't like? Too many burr heads in this city. I don't know what it means. You know? But I want to get to my place. That's my entire goal. my fucking burr heads. Fucking like even exist for anyone. And he's like, you know, there you are. Like, I don't know what you Yeah, I know. I'm proud of you. <laughs> you guess. Oh, is that what you call me? Yeah, me too. Yeah, how close are we now? <laughs> yeah, we got pretty close, right? <laughs> so then this guy thinks everybody agrees with him, because most of the guys are probably like me, you know? Most of the guys are probably not like, I really resent, I get out of here, all right, all right. <laughs> You gotta stand up for what you, what you believe in. Yeah. So, it's like uh, people say homophobic. I'm not homophobic. And I go, okay, but <laughs> if you're not homophobic, would you, uh, your gay friend, would you fucking jerk him off? <laughs> <laughs> because, yeah, you know, it's no big deal for you. <laughs> Jerking out of a guy's cock, what's the fucking big deal? It's a huge deal for him. He's real, you really make him happy because you're his friend or something. So you're like, no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I think you should. I think I'm going to do that. But if a guy, if a gay guy ever asks me, 
I got my come on here, but she names it, and we figure it all out. I said, yeah, I don't give a fuck, you know? This is, it's not hard work or nothing. Like that. Huh. Say my nice thing, maybe like, that could be your Christmas present. <laughs> Three jerk ass. <laughs> Some guy, like, sometimes when you uh, stand up, like weird sex uh, things are throwing you away. I've never accepted them because they're always creepy, but it's always a guy with like, her husband or something. I've had many times, like, a girl will be like, I really like to. <laughs> he won't do anything? No. Where will he be? Like the closet? <laughs> I'm like, man, you're like, man. I'm a civilized human being. I evolved, like, you know, I used, to be, I used to be a monkey and shit, a swine and all that stuff. And I finally became a human being so that I wouldn't have to do all that stuff. <laughs> me feel alive. What? What Norm McDonald Live makes me feel alive. Oh, You're the best. Norm McDonald Live makes you feel alive? You're the best. But you are alive. <laughs> I guess that should so. be a thing a dead person to say. <laughs> but that's a nice thing to say. I never meant to say you were one of the undead. I am. <laughs> I'm not afraid of no wolf man. <laughs> wolf man's like, you know how you can't go to sleep like, God, oh, wolf man's gonna get me. Ooh, I'm so scared. <laughs> but when you really start to think about it, you go, wait a second. Hold on, hold on. Whoa, wait. Hey. by a simple grade two arithmetic, if you're that afraid of a wolf man, um, you should be twice afraid of a wolf. <laughs> There's nobody afraid of a wolf. You can't sleep and stuff with a wolf my you know? <laughs> Or like a Dracula, shit. Dracula. I like a Dracula. I understand it's scary, but I think mostly it's the way they act and shit like that. Because what can they really do to you? You know, like, they, sh they move in, like, uh, next door, you're like, ah, damn, Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are we going to do? Is that what we're talking about? It? What happens if Dracula? 
So you we gotta be ready, you know, for, for in case the bus is not that. And so, you know, I'm gonna get a, a, a piece of wood, two by six, I'm gonna make it into a stake, you know, by squirting uh, it, you know? And then I'll get a mantle, a, a, a mantle, a mallet, a mallet. And I'll use the mallet, I'll use the mallet. I have dyslexia. <laughs> I, uh, so I would take the mallet, and when the Dracula comes at me, because I won't have much time, because I'll just think he's a regular dude until I suddenly I realize he's a <laughs> When he attacks me, I only have a moment, and I'll have to strike him with the uh, stake right between uh, the, uh, the breast bones and shatter him, and then he dissolves into sand, which he is. That's all he is. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I gotta do that, or else I'm fucked because it bite me in the neck, and then I'll live forever. <laughs> really, it's a win-win situation. It's not the worst outcome that you uh, have eternal life, and you get to be a cool Dracula yourself. <laughs> that is one thing about Dracula. Nobody cooler than a fucking Dracula. Like, Dracula, oh man, they you, you get ladies. Like, you can be the handsomest dude, like, in this audience. And you could be with a lady and you go, I'm very, you know, confident about myself. My girl loves me, and I'm a very handsome man. And then a Dracula walks in, you're like, ah, oh, fuck, fuck. <laughs> Dracula's gonna fuck my girlfriend. God <laughs> yeah, damn it. It's too bad, but that's the way it goes. Dracula's just so bad. Ladies love Dracula's the way, uh, same way, uh, you know, uh, babies love stray dogs. Sometimes, <laughs> some hits them, think of the sword. Doubles them over, they can't help themselves. I don't know if you've ever seen a lady with a dragon, but they just touch them. Yeah, yeah, it's like, it's like watching a banker touch gold. Why don't you tell me that with the 
he said it does. <laughs> oh, well, well, no, I was saying on account of that, I could have made one trip like that. Because <laughs> every time I went there, the smoke s seems thicker <laughs> and like different color. Like now it's almost like a green color or something like that. And it's so thick. <laughs> But anyway, is this is very important or something? The dog? <laughs> no, I understand. Yeah, sure. Okay. Well, hey, any, any uh, word on that sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> I asked you, don't you remember? <laughs> You're very hungry. I don't get paid. I don't get paid money. I don't, you know, nobody pays me money. You know, I've had this job 25 years. <laughs> I mean, I've uh, made money. But no, I, 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 I get a dog. I just run in and I just a dog. And then, oh, ouch, oh, some fire landing on my head. <laughs> oh, man, my head's on fire. That's cool. I got the dog. Right on, here you go, honey. There's a the dog. That's not the dog you like? <laughs> well, I'm not going to go back in because I'm very, very hungry. I feel like, like, I'm just going to... Hey, sir, uh, remember our meeting? I dragged you out of the fire. Give a sandwich. Anything at all? Can you eat? No? You don't? I should get a job. I suppose. Just get a fucking job. That's what people tell people that don't get jobs, don't have jobs. Like, uh, homeless people and stuff. Get a fucking job. <laughs> Just go get a job. Go to some, go to an interview and uh, you know, write down that you're, um, you haven't had a job ever. <laughs> and that you uh, have mental illnesses. <laughs> And you piss and shit in your pants all the time. <laughs> you ever think you're doing that? <laughs> They're just sitting here in a lab of luxury. <laughs> free money from you. <laughs> you gotta try to love people. It's like the hardest thing to do in the world. People think it's easy. But, you know, But uh, I love you guys, but that's uh, because I have reasons for it. Because you're nice, and when I look in your eyes, I, s I, I see things, you know. And uh, I love my mom and stuff. My mom is my hero because she loves, like, I'm trying to love, like, that's my goal in life now, is to love as much as I can, try to follow the scriptures. I don't think I can ever love my enemy, you know, they say love thine enemy, and that's really hard, because it's your enemy. <laughs> so, you know, the guy's fucking trying to cut your head off, and saying, oh, you seem like a good guy, but you're not trying to my head off and stuff, because I have people, you know, that depend on me and stuff, oh, you're still cutting my head off. <laughs> Hey, I wish you had just a big knife. <laughs> What's your name, anyway? <laughs> oh, you got my head off. Jeez, I wish you hadn't done that. Now my head's over there. And uh, still, you seem like a nice guy. Except for the part where you chopped my head off. I can't be that big a person. I'm just not. <laughs> it would be wonderful, you know, it would be a wonderful thing. But I, I think I'm just going to try to, because people go like, I love my newborn. You go, well, God damn, of course, that's your kid. You created him. You took a doll to come and made him. It looks like just like you. So, yeah. so of course you're going to love that, you know. That's not love, but, you know. Or people go like, I love my 
I got a new girlfriend. She's 19. Oh, man. Just love like you wouldn't. And I'm like, does she blow me all the time? Yeah. Well, it's, it's not that hard to love. <laughs> if you love strangers, you know, just everyone, you just try, that's what I'm trying to do. Just give everybody, just give the whole world a hug. You know, just try to, uh, it sounds like modeling, you know, it sounds stupid. But um, I think that, like my mom, you know, she's like that. She really loves all people that she meets. And she lives with me. And her eyes just shine love. You know, Stevie, you know, Stevie knows my mom. And there's not a trace of irony in her face, you know. And she, she'll, she'll come out, she'll leave my apartment, come back, go, I met the most interesting lady in the whole world at, at the grocery store. And she told me the funniest story about a pumpkin. And then uh, she tells me that's a bunch of shit. <laughs> <laughs> but meanwhile, I wish I was her. But she was me. Um, because, you know, it's just, she's just lucky. Uh, but I'm trying, you know, you gotta do this step by step, just try, you know. So I'm trying with homeless people because I'm so, you know, I just, I just pass homeless people. And then here they are, their fellow, you know, like, because I, I believe in God, you know, so I believe that all people are, are immortal. <laughs> so when you look at things that way, it changes your, your, your viewpoint. You know, you don't go, "That's a filthy animal." You know, the person you go, "That's an immortal being." You know? So, uh, but still, I can't get. Uh, I still can't be good. I don't know why. I just can't. So I walk by homeless people. And I feel bad, even for selfish reasons, I should give money, so I don't feel bad. But, um, but I do feel bad. So I walk by, this is a homeless guy that lives near my house, I walk by and the guy's like, you got a dollar? I go, I got no fucking dollar. And he's like, there's a dollar falling out of your pocket. I'm like, oh, that's, that's my dollar. <laughs> that's my for gum, that's my gum. So then I go to the store and buy a bunch of gum. <laughs> And then I walk home, and the uh, uh, same guy's there, he's like, hey, you got a dollar or a gum or something? I'm like, I got fucking shit, get the fuck out of here. What's wrong with you? I don't like you. I hate you. You're not even good with me, you know, you're a good person. You know, you live on the street. Look, you eat like a coffee studded melon rind. <laughs> hey, hey, you can't. So. Anyways, you know, that's not good. I don't want to end up being raped by the devil for all the time. I'm not being a good guy. You know. That's how I live my life. I don't want to be raped by the devil. <laughs> Just do the best I can for that not to happen. Now, there might be no doubt, it might be completely wrong. But, uh, but uh, I don't know. I'm not really strong enough to be an atheist. You know, I tell the because I'm not like, smart enough to be an atheist. I, I need that. Uh, I need God, you know. I just, it's just something I need in uh, my life. And uh, if you tell somebody you're uh, religious or a Christian or something, you may as well say you're a retard. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad. Because I try to talk about love. Like, you guys know about love. No, war, religion. Yeah, whatever. But, uh, 
love is unknown, or rock, stone, and it's not a bit more, it's not a bit more. But there's no use, you know. Like, I don't want to be preachy, right? I hope this doesn't come across preachy. But you ain't getting to heaven without Jesus Christ. <laughs> 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 now people wonder why Christians are preaching you know, you know, what the is that? it's because it says it in the book you got to do it you got to tell people you know? it's not my idea I don't, I don't give a fuck like, <laughs> personally I, it would be fun for me to be in heaven all happy watching my friends get raped by the night <laughs> That was what I would do. <laughs> but I'm not a big enough person, you know. <laughs> so, uh, so, I think if I was an atheist, though, I'd go, I'm going to sit in this chair forever. Watch Bewitched. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be my life. Fuck it. I'm not gonna do nothing ever. The last thing I would do would go would be to try to get other people to be atheists too, so we could talk about it. That'd be my be my least favorite thing ever. I'd be like, hey, excuse me, uh, you with the. Glimmer of hope in your eyes. Here, I gotta tell you something. I'd like to let you in on something. You were born, you get old, sick, and die, and then dirt. <laughs> you want to talk about it? We can all go and talk about it. Me and my friends fucking talk about it all the goddamn time. It's all I ever talk about. It's a lot of fun. I go, fuck it, I'm watching be with <laughs> I watch be witched on me. You know how you have those channels where they see old shows? Those are my favorite, like, because I'm an old man, so I watch, like, on Matlock. Woo! I never lost a case. Sweet's Company and so on. And, uh, Bionic Man is my favorite part of that. One time, I saw a thing. They my phone, you know. Uh, one time I saw a thing where the uh, where the, why don't you guys don't get the fuck off stage, right? <laughs> hey Dylan, how you doing, bud? <laughs> Hi buddy, what's up? Oh good. I'm gonna put you on speaker, hold on. <laughs> what's happening? some funnier jokes, Dylan! I'm doing uh, uh, some stand-up. One fellow don't care for me too much. I can't hear much of anything you're saying now that I'm on that speaker. Oh, you can't hear me? Uh, I say, I'm doing stand-up comedy. He's live! Are you doing stand-up? Yeah! <laughs> and one fella.
Yeah, 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 that people say? Yeah. I never understood that joke. <laughs> <laughs> the man, the person goes, they get blonde. Yeah. Oh, there's a joke that says, what's the worst thing uh, that uh, you can hear when you're blowing Willie Nelson? <laughs> I'm not Willie Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> Because in the premise they go. You get like so many lights. You get usually like one light now and it's like, like a fucking disco ball. Um, I don't understand that joke at all because uh, they say, what's the worst thing that could happen when you're being blown by Willie Nelson? Or when you're blowing Willie Nelson? Well, if you're blowing Willie Nelson, you're not blowing anyone else. <laughs> so, Willie Nelson would be lying. <laughs> yeah. The joke would have to be like, you know, uh, what's the worst thing that could happen when you're blowing someone you thought was Willie Nelson? <laughs> Anyways, guys, I gotta go, but, uh... Thank you for letting me, like, uh... Is that... All those fucking lights, this is what I'm talking about with love. Like, right now, love, because all we got is the moment, right? We got the moment. This exact moment. Later... Uh, home, you know, empty hope. That's what the future is. <laughs> well, I remember Obama hope. I'm like, when the fuck is ever words ever? <laughs> and then you go, oh, that movie's gonna be good, not shit like every other fucking movie. <laughs> hope that lady licks my balls. <laughs> I don't know why I'm hoping that. That never happened ever. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, that's, that's the future, and then uh, that's hope. And then the past, that's just your memory. It's all wrong, and you get everything wrong. So it's this moment. Meanwhile, they're flashing. So I right now, like, I love, and I just love, and as soon as I go over there, they'll go, oh, they're fucking light. Didn't you see the lights? I'm like, yeah. I didn't see them. I'm going to say, I didn't see the fucking lights. <laughs> Oh, what the fuck are you talking about? Why don't you put the fucking lights where I can see them, motherfucker? <laughs> I'm gonna have a cigarette. Not in this goddamn building, you're not. Go in the slush. That's where we smoke, the slush. Yeah. There, the slush smoking. So, anyways, I'm trying to say that uh, that's why it's hard to leave there. I mean, leave to there from here. Because even in my. Fucking periphery, I can see these motherfuckers. <laughs> and then when I look at you, I love and everything. Great love. And we all should be able to love, for God's sake. Because, hey, think about this. Uh, we're human beings, the top of the food, most evolved things. Dogs can love. Dog, you're. When do you ever see a dog not love, you know? When do you ever see a dog, I don't, I don't care for that one, you know? A dog loves everybody, you know? That's a dog. That's why I don't understand why people don't like dogs. I'm not a dog person. You go, really? That thing that's just only fur and love? Oh, I don't know, personally, I don't understand. But, like, you wake up and your dog's like, hey, I love you, I love you. Can I, can I kiss you? You're like, yeah, man, kiss me, it's cool. 
Yeah, I love you so much. That's so cool that you love me. I love you more every day. I love you so much. Come on, let's play a game. I go, we'll play a game in a little while. Oh, you're still kissing me. That's so cool. Yeah, I was just kind of kissing you because I love you and stuff. I love you so much. And they're like, get the fuck away for a second. Would you? Damn. Are you giving me some space? A little bit? And the dog's like, no, I'm sorry. I'll stand over here. I'll stand here. I understand I did wrong, but listen. The next time you want me to love you, I'll run over and love you. I'll stand at this exact spot. And I'll run over and love you. Is that cool? You go, I get a second. So dogs, you know, like I say, unconditionally. Of course, there's conditions to love. Like, you know, if you go home and your wife's having sex with 200 men, all the, you know, you're not gonna go, I just came home to say, I love you, honey. Are you trying to break some kind of record or something? I don't know what's going on here, but I just want you to know that this condition that exists doesn't affect my love for you. So we have all kinds of conditions on everything we do, but not a dog. They love it, you know. I read that Hitler had a dog. Now Hitler does not deserve love. The dog loved Hitler more than anybody. Dog wake up in the morning, where is Hitler? He had to work, he's at work. God I, damn, I love you too there, Goebbels. Where, Hitler is the greatest man who ever lived. Where is he? Where is he? That's not a good sentence out of context. <laughs> Hopefully I'm coming to YouTube. That on YouTube, but, uh, <laughs> that would look bad on YouTube the next day. I want a dog. <laughs> That's right. One of the greatest movies ever made. Oh, I see the light. I should go. Listen. The name of the pale Nazarene. Love is all. God bless you.